making you feel like you can achieve so much more. <laughs> Another eight final here. A three boat race coming into the men's club B eight final. So three boats here from different states. We have Austin B in lane five, closest to shore, Minneapolis in lane four, and then on the other side, New Orleans in lane three. God. Three very different states represented here in the club event where athletes are coming from the area surrounding their clubs. Which one is Forest Boat Creek? Middle one. They look best already. <laughs> Right on top of these three eights, may as well just be sitting on their bow deck. Great chance to see those stake boat holders laying down, flag drops, the arms come back in. And all three boats are off. Seen some early power here from Austin in the red on the left of the screen. Yeah, Mary, we were talking about it. You've been flawless with your left and your right. It, it was bound to happen. <laughs> it was bound to happen. I am very bad at determining my left and right. Really impressive battle here, starting out with those two leading crews. We have Austin B in Minneapolis. Going stroke for stroke here, maybe a seat of advantage to Austin B on our shore side. New Orleans trying to hang on to contact here. That coxswain staring down the rest of the field, making sure her athletes know exactly where they are in this race. We're seeing that eight from Austin continuing to take a little bit away from Minneapolis every stroke. That bow pair certainly clear. They feel like they're leading the way for the rest of their crew, hoping they can lay down enough to get everyone clear by the end. If anything, that bow seat is going to win the race against the rest of their boatmates. They will be the one to cross the line first. If not with the whole field, definitely within the rope. Yes, bow the pair. You are <coughs> first, objectively. Your leader is still Austin B in lane five. With now maybe three seats of advantage over Minneapolis, <coughs> who is broken free of New Orleans. Just about a seat of open water between second and third place. An unexpected benefit of being that bow seat in a tight race is uh, that's going to be your blade or your body that shows up in our photo finish. You're famous. Yep. You can all just aspire to be here now famous. Undoubtedly, we have this Minneapolis crew sprinting early. You can see the crew bringing up the level of intensity, bringing up the stroke rating. Sometimes you have to go early to try to start that higher intensity sprint earlier in your race. <coughs> Especially if you're starting behind. No. Sometimes the athletes know themselves and know that they are tell. good sprinters. They might also try to sprint like early for that me. reason. The green shirts. Or potentially if you're <coughs> really not good at it, you'll start early to try to get that advantage as early as you can. But it's bow ball to bow ball. Good. Minneapolis versus Austin. Damn it. Minneapolis <laughs> able to make up a huge uh, amount of in that 250. Silver. That's great. Making it interesting, oh, Minneapolis with quite the charge there. Great fight. But